Now Broadband, formerly known as Now TV Broadband, is a Sky subsidiary that offers broadband packages as well as a few different TV add-ons. In this video, we've reviewed Now Broadband to see if their broadband deals are any good. We'll explain how Now Broadband works, look at its pros and cons, and discuss whether or not you should buy Now Broadband. Before we begin, check out our Now Broadband review, which is the first link in the description below. This guide offers a summary of our thoughts on Now Broadband, as well as more details about their different broadband packages. Let's get started. Now Broadband is a relatively cheap, simple broadband provider. They have three different broadband packages to choose from. The first is Brilliant Broadband, which offers an 11 megabit per second average download speed. Fab Fiber, which offers 36 megabits, or Super Fiber, which offers 63 megabits. Of these three, we'd recommend Super Fiber if you can get it where you live. Often, it's only one or two pounds per month more than Fab Fiber during the initial 12 month contract. In most cases, you might as well make the upgrade since your download speeds will nearly be twice as fast for nearly the same monthly cost. Now Broadband offers quite a few advantages over similar providers like Plusnet and TalkTalk. The default contract length is 12 months, meaning that you don't need to commit to Now Broadband for a really long length of time. You can also choose to join Now Broadband on a month-to-month -month contract, which most other providers don't allow you to do. Now Broadband offers very competitive monthly costs, at least during the initial contract. It's hard to find a cheaper broadband deal with super fast download speeds. You can easily add on Now TV to your broadband deal on a month-to-month -month basis. Now TV is very flexible. This will allow you to watch TV channels like Sky Sports and Sky Atlantic without needing a satellite dish installed. However, there are a few downsides to choosing Now Broadband when compared to other providers. Now Broadband has a habit of hiking your monthly cost at the end of the contract, often by quite a significant amount. This is why the contract is so short to begin with. We'd recommend setting a reminder for when your contract expires so that you can enter a new agreement in 12 months time. Now Broadband doesn't offer ultra fast download speeds. The fastest plan you can get is just 63 megabits at the moment. The good thing about Now Broadband's customer service is how responsive they are over the phone. According to Ofcom data, now broadband customers spent just 31 seconds on average waiting for their phone calls to be answered. This is the shortest wait time of any major provider. Now broadband's trust pilot reviews are pretty terrible, as is the case with most major broadband providers. From analyzing these complaints, we found that many of them were about Now TV, especially problems with the streaming platform and difficulties canceling the service. Also, it seems that some customers have issues with the Wi-Fi router that Now broadband sends you. We wouldn't recommend Now broadband if you have a large house unless you're willing to spend money upgrading your Wi-Fi router or investing in a mesh Wi-Fi solution to ensure that you get good Wi-Fi signal in every room. Overall, Now Broadband's responsiveness is great, but their customer service isn't quite as good as some more expensive providers like BT. If you're a Now Broadband customer, we'd love to hear what you think about their customer service in the comments below. If you're looking for cheap, simple broadband on a short-term contract and don't need ultra-fast download speeds, then Now Broadband is a good choice. Now offers super-fast broadband with a low monthly and upfront cost and the choice of only entering into a 30-day contract. However, there are some downsides to Now Broadband. Firstly, they will increase your monthly cost by quite a bit at the end of the 12-month contract. It's not currently possible to delay or avoid this price increase by entering into a longer-term contract so you'll need to set a reminder to enter a new agreement in 12 months time. Also, if you want download speeds of more than 63 megabits per second, you'll need to look for another provider. To get these types of speeds for a lower monthly cost, you might like to look at 5G broadband using a product like the 3 5G Hub router. These 5G routers will allow you to get speeds of around 200 to 300 megabits per second, even if you don't have fiber to the premises broadband where you live. If you're not sure which broadband provider to choose, you can read our broadband deals guide, which is the second link in the description below. This article provides an overview of the best broadband deals on the market right now, and the differences between the broadband plans that each provider is offering at the moment. And if you need advice about choosing the right broadband deal for your specific needs, feel free to ask us for advice in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.